it's amazing. You know, I never, I never, when you were younger, when I was young, 65 was old. 65 was old. And here I am, 91. You know, I've been blessed because I feel good. Now, I don't have the strength that I used to have. I guess that comes with age, but, but, uh, but I feel good. People look at age as a disease, a time of loss, you know, a steady decline, and then you're out the door, you become less relevant. But look at you, Bobby, that's not how you're living your life. No, I feel, I feel good, and I, like I say, when I was younger, I never thought if somebody said, hey, you're gonna live to be over your 90, I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, couldn't picture it, you know? People say it goes by fast. It, yeah, it does go, and it does. And is that true? And it is true, yeah. I, I mean, I can't believe it's about, uh, I can't believe 91 years worth is already gone. <laughs> I've been blessed, that's the way Anna and I look at it. Ann's 88 now, you know. We both feel blessed that we're at the age we are. I get letters from boys I coached 50 years ago. They don't mention football. They don't mention football. They don't say, Coach, you remember that long run I made, or that great catch I made, or the, what you said? But they said, I, I, Coach, I, I thank you for what you said. You know what? They tell me about their wife and their children, and that, 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 that's, that makes you feel pretty darn good. Yeah, a coach has an opportunity to influence young people like nobody else. And it really is a shame if they don't take advantage of that to influence them in the right ways. And that's why we revere you. That's why we want to learn your lessons because you always did that. Yeah. I mean, that, was, that wasn't just a byproduct of coaching. That was your main focus. That's right, that was my main focus. You know what, and I, as I say, uh, you, 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 people come up to me and say, oh, you have affected so many boys. Oh, well, who, which one, I, I, which one? Who, who did I affect? You know, you don't, you don't even know. You don't even realize, you know. And then you might, then you get that letter. That letter comes through the mail. Dear coach, just wanted to write and tell you hello. Uh, I'm married now. We've got two, two grown children. One of, them's go, one of them's gonna come to Florida State. I get that letter a lot, you know, and, it, and that makes you feel so dadgum good. From what you've experienced and all you've learned, what have you learned is really important about life that you can share with us? Uh, to me, it's, it's do it the right way and don't try to take shortcuts. You know, a guy gets, a young guy gets out of college and got him a job and you gotta be careful you don't try to take a shortcut, you know, by doing something wrong, which will get him moved up, you know. Don't, uh, don't take that shortcut, you know. Uh, do, what, do what is right. And when you do that, life can be great. Yep. Even yep. at 91. That's that has been for me. <laughs> it has been for me. Ann and I talk about that a lot. There's a tendency, tendency to say, "Boy, we've been lucky." No, uh, -uh. we we've been blessed. Do you worry about what's to come? I try not to worry. I call it concern. <laughs> It's a, good, it's a good way of getting around it. I'm, I'm concerned about it, but I'm not worried about it. I never worried about it, you know, because my my faith, my faith, you know, shows me eternity, shows me forever. Live one day at a time. Live today the best you can. Quit thinking about 10 years down the road what you're going to do, how, how you're going to make a living, what kind of health you're going to have. Live today like it's your last day on earth. You know, take your job like this is the last job you'll ever have. Now, you might have another one next week, but take this job and treat it like you'll never have another, you know. And then good things will happen. That's what happened to me.